Setting custom hotkeys in Blender can be tricky and while I do expect this to change in 2.8, I wanted to document how it's done now anyway. What I want to do is hotkey each of these different object interaction modes so that I can jump to each one easily. I find the default tab actions confusing because they change depending on whether you have an object or an armature selected. I'll show you how I prefer to set this up in a moment, but for now let's look at the easy way to set a hotkey. If I come over here to the smooth shading button and right click, you'll see an add shortcut option. This will allow me to input a new hotkey right here. I'll set it to Control alt s and I'll just turn on flat shading to just show you that this now works. While I could use this method for the object interaction mode menu, I'll show you how to do it manually because it doesn't work for everything. For example, the viewport shading doesn't give me the option to set a hotkey. To add it manually, go to user preferences and navigate to input. Now to create a hotkey this way, it helps to know a bit of Python because you'll see under each of these hotkeys it has an identifier of operator to call on input event. If you now have the same bewildered look on your face that I did, then don't worry, we've got this. What you want to do is find a hotkey similar to what you want to do, so in my case I want to change the object interaction mode. Now I already know that tab jumps between object mode and edit mode, so I'll find where that is. So let's search for object, and I'm looking for tab amongst these hotkeys. There it is. If I look in here, I'll see the operator is object.mod underscore set. So now if I come to add a new hotkey, I know this is what I need to type in. And when I do, you'll see I now get this option box appear. So I'll set this to what I want, and I can now set my hotkey here. I want the hotkey to be alt1. So to do that, I'll take the alt modifier and type 1 into the box before saving the user settings. However, notice that when I try to use it, it doesn't work. Instead, it's changing my layer because this hotkey was already set to do that. So what I'll do is disable this because I don't care for hotkeying these layers right now. So in user preferences, I'll search for layer and look for this hotkey. It's this any one right here. So I'll just come in and disable the alt modifier. And when I save the settings, my custom hotkey behaves as it should. After repeating this process for all the different mods, you can see the hotkeys displayed here and I personally find this easier to remember while I'm working. If you share this tutorial you'll be doing a lot to support me and you might also consider visiting my Gumroad where you'll find a bunch of tutorial packages covering advanced topics for your 3D characters. Thanks for watching.